All right guys, so we're back with this gun. And yesterday I shot a batch of low development with this thing with the 53 grain VMAX, 55 grain Sierra Blitz King, uh, 75 grain Hornady Boat Tail Hollow Point, and the 73 grain ELD by Hornady. And I shot some of the worst groups I have shot in my life with this gun yesterday. So today we're going to be trying some different powders because that was the biggest constant that we had. I wasn't even going to bring the camera today because I was kind of aggravated yesterday so I didn't I figured if uh, if I didn't bring the camera maybe I'd shoot some good groups because I always seem to shoot my good my best groups whenever I don't film it so I didn't bring the camera and I just shot a group that I was like maybe it's possible that we can shoot some good groups today so I went ahead and grabbed it just in case we had some spectacular you know stuff so I'm not saying it's going to be spectacular, but who knows, maybe we'll actually shoot a good group. If so, I do want to get it on camera because, you know, otherwise I'm just a liar. So, <laughs> anyway, um, we're shooting Ram Shot Tac with the 53 grain VMAX again. This is really the bullet that I want to use, and it's actually the one that shot the best with the factory ammo that I tested. So, I know the bullet's capable of producing some pretty tight patterns, but I just got to find what it likes to, uh, you know, push it. So trying ram shot tack and then we're going to try some 8208 xbr in the imr line next but right now we're halfway through our powder spectrum in the imr powders we're currently about to shoot 25.2 grains of the ram shot tack i'm not sure if that's what i just said but um that's what we're going to shoot next last pattern i'm not going to say it was good but it was a heck of a lot better than what we we're seeing yesterday so i'm hoping it's showing signs of things tightening up because the first sd was horrible and this last one I just shot was actually not too shabby. So let's go ahead and get started. So the groups still aren't looking great and the SD was pretty bad on that too. Um, I may not focus so much this time about cooling the barrel down with the tack, but I might watch it a little more closely with the, uh, the 80, 8208 XBR because um, I, I've just had a lot of bad luck with ball powders lately. I don't know why. <laughs> But it seems like every time I shoot a ball powder, things just don't go well for me. So I'm more interested to see what this 8208 XBR will do. But I wanted to try one more ball powder just to just to try. It's not looking great so far, but I'm going to go ahead and run the barrel, barrel cooler here for a minute. And then we're going to shoot this next group. I got two more groups and then we're going to move on to the 8208. Kind of limited on time to shoot here, so we're not going to be quite as stringent with the barrel heat procedure. At least not for the, the tack. I might try to squeeze out as much as I can for the 8208, but we are moving on to 25.5 grains of ram shot tack with the 53 grain VMAX. 2,000. Didn't get a velocity off of that one. 2,000. Why that thing's not reading? Two thousand nine hundred ninety-four. Two thousand nine hundred sixty-three. Two thousand nine hundred eighty-seven. And we're still not getting the groups we're looking for. That's for sure. All right, last things up. Twenty-five point eight grains of ramshot tack. paying attention I didn't pick up any velocities on that one that sucks but I'm excited to move on to the 8208 that's for sure so 
we'll get on to that next. I'm gonna let the barrel cool down and then we'll continue on. Okay, hopefully we get some velocities this time. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here, but I guess I'm not lining up my chronograph very well. But uh, anyway, I don't know why I'm so optimistic about that powder or this powder, maybe because I have to be, because <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of uh, choice. Right now I'm just kind of wanting anything to shoot good, but I'm optimistic. So first charge is gonna be 25 grains flat of IMR8208 XBR with the 53 grain or any VMAX. Two thousand nine hundred seventy-two. Two thousand nine hundred ninety-seven. Uh, I pulled that one. I got 3, excited. Three thousand three. Two thousand nine hundred ninety-two. Two thousand nine hundred eighty. Well, just listening to the velocities and seeing those form on paper, they were trying to group for starters. And the velocity was a heck of a lot tighter than it has been, and it was a lot higher. So my guess is the faster burning powders, if I if I think, no, I'm getting them confused. I know CFE 223 was way slower than what we're shooting right now. I can't remember where TAC was at, but I know the 8208 was a lot faster, and I thought switching over to that would probably help quite a bit because most of the low data out there for 223 that's published is using like a 24 inch barrel we're using an 18 so the faster is probably better in this situation in terms of optimizing what we've got to work with and i was hoping that was the case that was kind of my my theory but i don't know if it'll pan out or not but the first First few shots uh, gives me hope, so I'm I'm still optimistic. Looking forward to shooting the next four groups and seeing how they do. So that was 25 grains. We're going up in 0.3 grain increments, going from 25 up to 26.2, being the published max in Hornady's book, I believe. And we're just going to give it some time between, throw the barrel cooler in here, and uh, hopefully shoot some good groups. I'm looking for a coyote load here, so I want something good. All right, next load here is gonna be 25.3 grains of 8208 XBR. Gotta keep the keep the good good uh, vibes going. <laughs> Hope for the best. 2008 well, Things are definitely improving with this powder and I did not get a single velocity <laughs> oh I'm not doing uh, doing my job today I'm just not paying attention that um, I don't need to see the velocities to to know that things are getting better um, with those group sizes because based on what I saw yesterday that was just embarrassing I mean literally shot some of the worst groups that I have ever fired period through this gun but there were there were some of the worst groups that I've ever shot in general they were there was a it was just everything everything shot terrible now it, it got worse as we went along it did not get better it, it progressively got worse but these are showing promise right out of the gate and they're continuing to group reasonable yesterday I would get one decent group and then it would just completely get blown apart immediately after that so the fact that these are not immediately falling apart is, I'm happy. I mean, right out of the gate, I'm, I'm stoked. Now, I wish I would have been paying a little more attention and got some velocities, but again, I can see things are much better and I think I kind of know what direction I need to head in from this point because I can definitely tell that the faster powders are better um, for this application. So, let it cool down just a little bit more. Throw five more rounds through it. The next one we're gonna shoot is gonna be 25.6 grains of 8208 XBR. All right, let it cool down a little bit. I'm kind of running out of daylight, daylight pretty quick, so I'm not giving it a whole lot of time to cool off at this point. Um, I want to, but I don't really have much of a choice because I still need to be able to shoot with some light. So, let the barrel cooler run for a little while. We're gonna go ahead and shoot 25.6. Grains of 8208 XBR. 
Oh my lord. Come on, give me some velocities. Wasn't real confident on that shot. I'm kind of more or less just trying to figure out what the heck's going on with my chronograph, but I don't really know. Kind of a weird little vertical trickle we got going on there. I'm almost wondering if uh, my chronograph, I might know how to fix it. I got a, I got an idea. Let's try this. But hey, you know what? Not a bad group, so yeehaw, right? <laughs> All right, so. My hunch was I took the uh, the sunshades off the chronograph. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We may just not get any velocities for the rest of the day, but I'm hoping it works. So next we're going to be doing, I believe 25.9 grains of IMR 8208XBR. Hopefully things continue to shrink because it's looking good right now. So keep your fingers crossed. Dang it, that really was a good group until that, ah, I lost all my brass skin. Gotta go find them. Give me a minute. All right, so last group, it's gonna be 26.2 grains of IMR 8208XBR. I couldn't figure out what was going on with the chronograph, so I just stuffed it back in the bag. We're not even gonna try to get velocities at this point. We're just gonna wing it and um, hope that the group size is small because this is definitely the best hope that we've, or the, the best performing stuff we've shot since we started hand loading for the gun. So um, a lot of promise there, which is awesome because Lord knows we've attempted to shoot some good groups and, and failed miserably. So one more group, I'm just like, I'm, I'm kind of scared to shoot it because like I want to shoot really well, but I don't want to screw it up. So I'm gonna try to take my time between shots here because I, I've been kind of speeding through this and I need to really just slow down and, and shoot. So I'm gonna slow down, but here we go. Did it again. Well, I screwed it up. All in all, that actually wasn't too bad because, ooh, them are hot. Uh, yesterday, the groups were just horrible. So that was actually pretty promising. But uh, that's the video for today, guys. I am uh, literally just expanding a little bit on yesterday's video or the video from yesterday for me. I'm probably gonna put this all into the same video, but um, for you guys, it'll probably all just be one vid. So. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. I definitely learned a lot um, just based on this gun or this barrel, however you want to word it. But uh, faster powders definitely are going to work a little better for this gun. At least IMR 8208XBR is. It seems like I wish I could have got some velocities. That would have been really nice, but we didn't get that. So we're going to do a lot more work with this. I'm not really sure where we're going to go from here just quite yet. I've got a lot of ideas, but nothing necessarily set in stone. So. Thank you again for watching. Stay risen, take care, and we'll see you next time.